coming here because I always feel like I'm entering like a little fairy tale, a story, oh. like a Beatrix Potter world. I think a lot of people dream of living and working in the same place, but they don't understand how hard you work. Well, it has its pluses and minuses. I mean, it is so wonderful that the house is right there and I can keep things going. And But at the same time, it's... It's a Never challenge ends. to have boundaries on your day. And I wanted to ask you if you had to sum up what you do in like four words, what would you say? Make things for people to hold. So I want to see a little bit of the process before okay. we go upstairs and see all the glamorous finished pieces. Because okay. I love seeing the nitty gritty of like the nuts and bolts. Mm -hmm. But this wheel I use for porcelain. This wheel I use for terracotta and uh, black and stoneware and then there's a wheel that wheel over there is for the earthenware since I am doing so many things simultaneously and I'm not always the neatest person I just thought it would simplify my life to have a wheel dedicated to each clay body because you oh, that's cannot yours. you can't mix them and if I came into the studio and it was all neat like that's a that's an oxymoron. You can't have like neat studio. I mean, this is what is beautiful about yeah. here is that well, there's well, things there, going on. Well, there are people who have very neat studios, but um... we don't want to do videos on them. <laughs> <laughs> flowers really inspire your work, I, don't they? I love flowers. Yet your work isn't full of flowers, but I can tell that there's something behind your love for them that informs your work. Exactly. I mean, I'm thinking of the flowers when I'm making the vases, you know, and for example, this group, this is for a client of mine who wanted vases to go down her dining table. Uh huh. We were talking about doing them in white and gray and then maybe doing some gold and silver leaf over them. Oh, do you? Now, yeah. I don't think of you doing that a lot. I mean, are you open when a client says, Yeah. I want this to be gold? The majority of my projects are commission. This wheel is where I do all the white earthenware wheels. Do you, do you want to try? Really? Mm hmm. Okay, yes, I kind of really do. Okay, well, let me get you an apron. All right. Oh, there's a petal. Put your I'm foot scared. On the pedal. What's going to happen when I do gently, this? Gently, do it gently. I'll get you okay. going. Okay, a little faster. So you want to. Okay, now you want to push it out just like you're doing. Okay. Oh, this is so fun. Am okay. I trying to slow up on the pedal? I would stop for a second. <laughs> well, that's not a good sign. <laughs> Okay, all right. <laughs> this is you do this like breathing, and for me, I know, but that were you born knowing how to do this? Oh no, no, mm -mm. no! I didn't actually start doing ceramics until I was almost thirty. Go upstairs and look at all the finished work. Thank you for indulging me. Oh, that was funny. I enjoyed wait, that. funny? What are you talking about? I mean, it was fascinating. fascinating. Yeah. <laughs> So this is also beautiful. And now I'm seeing that you do do color and there's quite a lot of blues in here too. It's also beautiful. I love the difference between seeing the kind of nubby, uh, very textural work like this and then the super smooth, glossy, some of the work that, like that. Yeah. It's almost like it's two different people, which I love about your work. You, you can never peg it just when you think you know it. Right. You, you, you throw us a yeah. curveball, Francis. Thank you, Francis. I, I'm just, I, I, these are the dahlias from your infamous garden, your, yeah. your passionate garden as you are cook. And your garden actually has inspired me to oh, good. really go to town next summer. Oh, excellent. We talked about the flowers informing your work. Here are literal flowers on this vase that you've done. I take plaster casts of the flowers from the garden and then I use the cast for the clay. So those are were literally flowers. Those are literally from your garden? From my garden, yeah. Can we go out and look at the garden one more time? I yes. just it's yes. one of my favorite places. Absolutely.